a nickname, right? And I say, uh, hi. <laughs> I'm like confused what's happened. I'm like, hi, my name's Antonetta. And she's like, people call you Tony, right? And I said, no, actually, no one calls me Tony. Um, <laughs> like, actually, no. Um, and so, you know, what I shared in the video and I want to share with you is people's first interaction with you is so critical. Right. So I'm coming in. I really want to feel the sense of belonging. I already feel bad because I missed the first class. So I'm like, I'm already behind. Um, and then, right, instead of, again, and this is what I said we would talk about, is just making sure you're collect collecting data up front. So if you're asking for pronouns or nicknames or gender up front, that will help to set up the people on your team. Because then she would have known, right, I don't like being called nicknames by people I don't know. So some of my closest friends call me a nickname. Um, at very few, most people don't because my parents actually taught me at a young age. They're like, you make teachers and you make people call you your full name because most people haven't heard my name. It's Italian. And so most people have never heard Antonetta, and it's 10 letters, so they want to shorten it to be quick. And my parents always said, no, you don't let them shorten your name. And right by first grade, I could write my whole name because they were like, no, we're not going to let people shorten it. So I come into this class, and I'm like, yay, I'm so excited. And then it's like, what's your nickname? I'm like, I don't have one. So I was already a little thrown off. Um, but I was excited. We got started. Um, we were five and five on each court. And there was one other person, and I said this in the video, I assumed she was a black woman um, based on her skin tone. But again, I cannot know. But there were only two people who looked like, okay, we likely were the, the black women of the group. We looked very differently. Um, I actually had braids like I do now. I was wearing some shorts she had on the skirt. We're probably like four different skin tones apart. So to me, we don't look very much alike. Um, my husband's probably the only black male and everyone else looks like they may be white. Um, so to me, right, we pretty much stand out where I would think you would quickly be able to distinguish, right? I have a long name. She has a three letter name and I go up to hit. And unfortunately this individual goes, calls me the other person's name, right? It's a, it's a mistake, but it's still like very awkward because it's the only other black person. And I was like, oh, no, it's Antonetta, right? So I'm like, oh, gosh, I think I repeated my name like 10 times a day. I'm like, it's Antonetta. And she goes, you confuse me. Just get out of the way. <laughs> and so I actually stepped aside. Everyone on my side is like, what's happening? And I had to just like go collect myself at the end of the court. And I, and I was like, I just need like a few minutes, right? I didn't say anything. My husband's looking like, oh gosh, right? <laughs> she, my, my DEI wife, like, oh gosh, was she going to like give a speech? But I just stepped to the side. And so it was really honestly a bit humiliating for me and uncomfortable. And I tell this story, right, not to call someone out, but to call us all in. And so a lot of people like to call people out, right? I'm going to tweet about, like, no, that's not what I did, right? Uh, even in the video, I didn't even talk about what sport it was, and I haven't published the video, but purposely did not talk about what sport it was because I didn't want it to be, right, about finding out who this is because that's not what it's about. And so I'm so excited to be able to call you all in today because I recorded the video when I was heading back um, for the third class. And what I shared was, I don't wanna go to class today. And at the time I was 35, I'm 36 now. And I said, I can't even imagine how I would feel if I was 10 or 13 or 18 because I'm 35 years old, a DEI practitioner, and I don't want to go back and play again. Because, right, it was really embarrassing. I didn't feel that sense of belonging. There were already only three black people there, one of which was my husband, right? Um, I was asked if I had a nickname. I was called the wrong name. I was told to get out of the way. But there's so many, right, amazing, people in the tennis industry that I had already known. And so it didn't 
changed my mind about tennis. However, if I hadn't known Andrew and so many others over the past six years, to be honest, that really would have been my view of what being on a tennis court meant because I hadn't done it before. Um, I grew up with a tennis court in my neighborhood, but was so busy running track that we just never did that. So I share that story just to let you know that unfortunately, if I didn't know other people in tennis, that experience would have really changed my mind about trying the sport.